everyone so I have been asked to do this video and I actually have another video that I was going to post after the last one um, and yeah I scheduled my videos wrong so they're all kind of whack and out of order but anyway so she wants me to show her how to properly um, use the eyelets and the washers okay so I just have some tags that I made out of a manila file folder I'm going to eyeball this and just try to um, center it. Now I'm using the 3 16th of a size hole. I'm going, and this is just a crop of dial. We are memory keepers, as you can see. Okay, so I'm going to take the grommet, and that's the piece that has the, um, the ending onto it. Let me see. Can you see? Let's grab this back out again. It looks like that. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece and insert it. Let's see. There's the paper. <laughs> okay. There it is. Let's get it on that. Well, if I can. Okay, so let me say this. Okay, we're going to call this the top part, okay? The part that's uh, flat, and this is the bottom end. So I'm going to have the top part sticking up, and I'm going to place this part down inside that hole there, right? To where it pokes through like that. This is the front part of the tag now. And this is the back part, the part that's sticking out. I'm going to take my washer, which is the flat piece. And I'm going to take that piece and put it on top of the grommet. And I like these because they're snug in there. They fit that hole perfectly. And you put it on like so. Now, I'm going to take my crocodile and this piece here, if you'll look on it, it has a piece that's showing you which side to put where. I know you probably can't see that, but it shows you that this is not the um, washer piece. This is the grommet piece, and you put the grommet piece here on top of the part that has this... Um, this little part sticking out, this little cylinder piece sticking out. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to line it up just like so. Okay, this is the alignment. Can you see that? Okay, there's that flat, the part sticking out, the extra piece. Attach it there and then I'm going to clamp down. Now there's the front of your tag, and this is the back of your tag, okay? Can we get closer? There's the back of your tag. And there's the front. Okay, I'm going to do it again. Now that's a smaller hole, I use the bigger hole, and that's what I buy my uh, grommets for. Center it punch the hole and then I was going to show but I think I did that already just punch to a hole twice as big to fit those and then I can use those as well I'm going to take my grommet I'm just going to insert it in then I have all this piece here extra hanging over all of that extra hanging over I'm going to place the washer down on top of it to where it's flush to the paper now, again, that little piece there that you see, let's see here, this little piece here, I'm trying to see if you guys can see, I'm looking through the camera there, okay, it's this little piece here that I'm grabbing, 
You can see it sticking out. That is what's going to go. My grommet just fell off. That's the front of the tag. I'm going to flip that over and it's going to lay inside there. Let me put my grommet back on. Okay. Now I explained that two different ways for you. So now we put it in and then we just squeeze it tight. Okay. So remember this piece here if you have one of these you can look at it I wish that would show up you can look at it and you can match your grommet up to it that's the setup that you're supposed to have so you would take that grommet and it's gonna sit in there, like so on your paper, okay? There's a little headpiece right there, and there's your grommet. So the headpiece goes in this side, and then your washer will go down there if you have the um, same thing as the Crocodile Big Bite. Now there are two good reasons to use the Crocodile Big Bite. The first one being that some people say it's easier to use on their wrist than the regular crocodile, but um, I, the purpose that I got it for, which is the second purpose, is it allows you to put your grommet or your puncher hole further into the tag or piece of paper that you're trying to uh, place a hole in. Okay, I hope that helped. And this is actually when I ordered these um, some months ago. This is where they got me. I ordered a 6mm, and they sent me this one. All I can say is at least it's getting better, because you can see um, that compared to that. As, as compared to these, this is the actual size. Okay because the outer part of this regular one or the one that I need is 6mm, but the inside is 4mm, okay? I hope you all are having a wonderful grand rising, a wonderful evening, or a wonderful night, wherever you are.